Hello everybody, thank you for watching once again. Today we're going to be doing a review of some sort of all my trapping equipment and all, what I use for the trap line. I mean, it is the off season right now, but I do want to use this time that we have to kind of get people ready for what we're going to be doing this season. It's going to be trapping, of course. So if you want to get into trapping, you this is a must-see video. The next few um, videos that are coming out are going to be about trap line management and fur handling and all, all the stuff you need to know before trapping season starts. I've got a b whole bunch of equipment right there, all sorts of stuff. So we're just going to stand there and we're going to show you what, what exactly stuff that you need here to get started in predator trapping and more specifically bobcat cage trapping. So here's all the equipment that we have. We've got lure and urine back there. We've got attractants and stuff like that. And then we've got tools and other kind of, you know, miscellaneous stuff that you're going to need on your cage trapping lines. We're going to be doing equipment uh, reviews for, you know, fur handling and then fur trap line management later. But right now we're doing it for the set. So besides our cage trap, I use Mercer Lowings cage traps. We'll go ahead and start with equipment here. So what we have is just a whole bunch of different things to make your set. So the first thing I'll use is this hoe. And this hoe is for digging out the trap beds, a very simple thing. I love this hoe. This is like 7 bucks on Amazon. I don't know if they still sell it. If they do, I will put that link in the description. It's an awesome hoe and it really works great. This here, it's about a 2 foot pair of snips and they, they do the job just nicely for any kind of brush and stuff. If you want to cut brush where your trap's going to be or you want to cut brush to cover your trap, either way, this is a great piece of equipment. I use a pair of these smaller ones just for, you know, smaller areas that I can't really get the big ones into or you know other stuff like that. The shovel is for getting dirt or sand from the wash or something so I can cover my trap bed. What these pliers allow me to do is um, I use a lot of wire for uh, the attractants and stuff like that in the back so these pliers allow me to do that. I usually have another pair of pliers to adjust the bolt on my traps so in Arizona you need trap tags with your name your address and your phone number or just your identification number so you can do those but you but I just suggest you do your identification number so nobody can like vandalize your house or something like that so your identification number by the way will be on your license so that'll be pretty cool it'll you read the regulations once or twice and you'll very clearly understand that so I just bring gloves it helps me get more involved in the set um, kind of be more interactive and you know make it making it that much better the piece of rabbit fur here connected to this 14 gauge wire and I love it because this is legal with our Arizona's regulations some people might say it's not this is a piece of cottontail rabbit fur there's no meat attached to it so this is totally legal just so people know stick it in the back of the trap on the wire I don't have I'll show you in the in our co coming video I'm gonna be showing you how to I'm going to be demonstrating how to set up a trap, so you should probably stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're not already. But it's just a little bit of jumpy rabbit fur. It's kind of dangling, and it's really neat to see that in the back of the trap. It, it has a lot of bit of movement. There's some cat toys. You know, you can go to the dollar store and pick some up. All bobcats are are just a big cat, so you could just use any of these cat toys, and they uh, honestly works really well. So what this is here is just a big bag full of pillow feathers from the feather pillow. Uh, I'm not going to open it up because they kind of get messy, but these are t totally legal with Arizona's regulations. Check your regulations to make sure they are if you're not in Arizona. But pillow feathers, what they'll do is they'll give that really nice attractiveness to the set so it'll really, you know, look like somebody, something's been there, some kind of bobcat says, you know, maybe ate another bird or something. First one we have is a Cage Magic lead-in scent, my absolute favorite lead-in scent. So what I'll do is I'll spray this halfway through that pan and then it'll stop and then they can start smelling that other lure that's in the back of the trap. I do the exact same thing with the bobcat urine. This is mink glands and what I use this is a curiosity lure and that's really good for triggering a bobcat's curiosity and it actually really works I've noticed. This one here is a lure I like to use it mostly later part of the season. It's cage magic lures as well. It's a love potion lure for bobcats. And what that is, it's going to attract the bobcats because it has a, it's a gland-based lure. So it's, it triggers the bobcats, um, bobcats' curiosity and they're looking for a mate. So that's a really 
awesome lure, and I highly recommend that one. This one's powder over paste bait. Any paste bait will do, but I like this one. It's very effective, very easy to use. It's just, you know, just that's your paste bait. This is pure skunk essence, and I actually made this one myself. I hope it helped you, you know, figure out what kind of stuff that you need to buy for the season. This is basically all you need for trapping bobcats just to get, get started in it. That's basically all you need. All the links will be down in the description if you want to check any of those products out. So those are like the absolute best products, what you need to use. Uh, as, as I already said before, Mercer Lawing has the best cage traps and those are also down in the description. If you want to see how I set up my cage traps, you can look at the video up there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you're not already and we'll see you on the next one.